Hey guys. So as most of you, <laughs> I can't talk. As most of you know, I am reading Power Thoughts by Joyce Meyer. I love Joyce. We go way back. And I read something just now that I have to share with you, okay? In terms of, you know, us as people thinking we can do things on our own and us believing that we have this enormous amount of faith in Christ um, who strengthens us. And, you know, not really realizing that his word is not in our thoughts and our real beliefs okay so i know that might not make sense to you first time hearing it but you know we walk around and we call ourselves christians but how present is jesus really in our thoughts um and in our minds when we're making decisions and when we are um looking to have confidence in ourselves about our abilities and certain things we can accomplish and joyce said we are partners with god we cannot do his part and he cannot do ours. And that is just, that is just awesome. I mean, I really needed to hear that. I think a lot of times when things happen um, with my son medically or, or anything else that's just enormous and monstrous, I like to think to myself, I am a Christian, I need to pray about this, but there's still some sense of worry and doubt that I have in the back of my mind. And that is me trying to do God's part, okay? Let me just give you a little note for the day. You can't do God's part. He cannot do yours, you cannot do his. So what you need to do is make sure that he is in your thoughts, ever present in your thoughts and your beliefs. There was something that I read, oh, here it is right here. Everyone faces challenges in life. Some people are completely overwhelmed by their challenges while others refuse to give up. My question is, do you want to be able to meet the challenges head on and overcome them? Then get mentally prepared for whatever comes. Remember, according to Colossians chapter 3 verse 2, the way to be prepared is to set your mind and keep your mind set. Okay, so one awesome thing about reading this book and also being in the business of um in being in the business with Empower Network, really, is the fact that we are in tune to a lot of positive audio recordings. We have our daily motivational call. Um, I think it's 760-569-6000, okay, and there's a PIN number, 589-046-POUND, and when you call in daily to this call, there's nothing but positive messages about business, how to get spiritually connected, and how to keep your mind right, how to get your mind set, and what I learned from my pastor is, what's that noise? Okay, I thought my son was coming up the stairs. What I learned from my pastor at church is you have to speak what you want for the day into existence that morning. When you wake up and you go to the bathroom or you take a shower, whatever you're going to do in the morning, before you start really functioning and going about your day, you have to command your thoughts. You have to pray over your day because please believe there there are devilish spirits out there who are praying against you. They, well, they, they don't really pray against you now, do they? They just pray on you, okay? They just want negative things for you. And you have to believe if you're, you know, a true Christian, you really have to believe the devil is a liar and that he's alive, okay? Alive and out there and everywhere. And he wants negative and terrible things for your life. And in order for you to prevent those things from having a major effect on you for the day, you have to command your day. You have to wake up and say, this is going to be a great day. I'm going to be good no matter what things Things are going to go my way because I have faith in God who strengthens me and with him I have the ability to overcome anything so there it is Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 check that out and um, click the link below if you're interested in sharing your own thoughts and interest uh, online and making money doing it through Empower Network okay I will see you guys later bye